I appreciate the opportunity to talk today in support of Raised Bill 1007, permitting mixed martial arts in Connecticut. My name is Paul Rosner, and I'm the founder and president of USKBA Action Sports. Just to be clear, we're not a promotion company. We don't promote events. We're, we're a uh, sanctioning body. We regulate events, such as mixed martial arts. My organization has been sanctioning various professional and amateur action sports for over 13 years. Our sanctioning and involvement has included international events in Kazakhstan, Italy, the Ukraine, Japan, Russia, Africa, and Thailand. Domestically, our sanctioning and involvement has included events in New, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Ohio, Florida, Colorado, Nevada, Michigan, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Connecticut, where we had the pleasure of working with the commissions at both Mohegan Sun and Foxwoods. Every USKBA action sports sanctioned event has operated with the same safety and integrity concerns that have become the standards used when we grant sanctioning approval of any events. Our standards meet the finest scrutiny of any athletic commission. The sport of mixed martial arts has experienced tremendous growth in its relatively short history. Many states in the vicinity of Connecticut and throughout the United States have accepted mixed martial arts and are currently regulating the sport. As one who personally knows that Connecticut has many talented athletes, including mixed martial artists, it does not seem appropriate that these athletes have to travel to other states to compete in the sport they love. I personally know many studios and gyms in Connecticut that bring fighters to amateur and professional mixed martial arts events that we sanction in New Jersey. It's important to understand that mixed martial arts must, must be safe and fair. That is where permitting and regulating comes into play. By setting standards for promoters and fighters to follow, the sport of mixed martial arts will grow in Connecticut. While USKBA Action Sports is actively involved in sanctioning both professional and amateur mixed martial arts, we believe that an emphasis must be placed on the amateur level of the sport. In 2006, understanding the need for a true level of amateur mixed martial arts, we developed the rules currently uh, in use in, in, by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. In addition, to, in addition to developing these rules, we currently work with the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board in regulating every single amateur mixed martial art and many professional MMA events in the state. Our stringent safety rules concerning amateur MMA, along with our certification of all officials, has made it a safe and true amateur sport that does not cross the line between amateur and a professional. As the respective commissions can attest, we have brought safety and fairness to the professional and amateur MMA events. In conclusion, we have worked with many athletic commissions regarding bringing mixed martial arts to their jurisdictions. In all cases, we have stressed the safety of the fighters, the rules and procedures, and the certification of the officials. We need to make this sport safe and fair. We would welcome the opportunity to be involved with mixed martial arts in the state of Connecticut, and thank you for this opportunity to, to talk on behalf of permitting mixed martial arts in Connecticut. Thank you, sir, for your testimony. Questions? Thank you, and thank you for waiting so long to speak. Quite all right. Appreciate it. Did you have written testimony? Uh, no. Okay. If you do wish to send us something, feel free to I do so. I will. Thank you. you uh, actually, what I will say, you will answer a lot of previous questions. Thank you. Mike Riley, followed by Troy Rakua.